from a day job, running fast from the way it was. Jump quick to a paycheck. Hello you guys, welcome to this video. I'm so excited for you guys to watch it because this is where I do my 2023 reset. So yeah, I'm just trying to bring good, positive, clear new energies into this new year. So yeah, come along with me to reset for the new year. I did a bunch of things, so hopefully you guys find them helpful if you guys want to do your own reset, but I had so much fun doing it and it's definitely essential. Like this is a whole new year where you can bring in so many new things and your potential is limitless, so hope you guys enjoy and where we're gonna move into the cleaning portion because I feel like going into the new year you obviously want to kind of deep clean things organize things just kind of reset your place whether that's your bedroom whether that's your you got your own place or whatever cleaning is so important especially going into the new year so that's what we're gonna be doing a few days ago I organized the drawers in the bathroom and I cleaned it out so I'm going to insert that footage next and now today I'm going to clean the rest of everything and I'm actually really excited. It is now time for the bathroom as you guys can see it to be cleaned I really also want to organize these cupboards just because I feel like I haven't done it in a while it's kind of become a mess I have new products to add that I want to fit in here and then I also want to organize my drawer here because it has gone out of hand and it's just so messy and it's been irking me Okay, next you guys we're gonna be cleaning my car it is so overdue cleaning your car out just feels so good and it honestly makes me feel disgusting when my car is gross and dirty so i got my coffee because i need some energy and we're gonna clean her i 10 out of 10 would suggest cleaning your car not just your house not just your room but your car as well this lavender spray a while ago it's basically just lavender essential oil mixed with water and this is like a healthy alternative to an air freshener because obviously car air fresheners are so strong but they're so bad for you like they smell good but they're so bad for you and like constantly inhaling that when you're driving so toxic so we're gonna do the natural thing literally all you have to do is buy like a little spray bottle and then mix essential oil any essential oil with water and it's a natural like fragrance spray it's perfect and then we're just gonna spray that around for good juju <laughs> well so good finish the car maybe i'll go through a car wash today but if not i'm gonna do it because it's so dirty on the outside feels so good to have like a refresh on the inside <laughs> The next thing that we're gonna do to reset ourselves for this new year is clean out our phone. Let me tell you, I have probably a million pictures. Let's actually see. Like my storage is always constantly running low. I have 8,791 photos, 438 videos. I just love to maximize my storage on my phone 24 seven. 
but it's always lagging because of that so i feel like going into the new year i just kind of want to refresh my phone and swipe all the photos so that i can have a clean slate for the new year because i feel like it mentally makes such a big difference because i'm always on my phone doing stuff for my job for just in general and so having like a clean phone is probably one of the best feelings it sounds weird but like it's up there for me even getting a new case really helps especially because like i use a clear one and they get like really yellow so even just ordering like a new case just to spice up and make it kind of feel new so what i like doing with my photos is i use google photos and this has been like my favorite way to store my photos i pay monthly i think like three dollars or something for two terabytes of storage so it's not much and it holds all my photos on there just so that they're not on my phone and then when they're on like an online cloud you don't have to worry about them ever disappearing because if you put them on something like a hard drive that can eventually break or get lost but if they're like online you can access it from wherever so that's like the best way to store them in my opinion also something that really helps me is having apps on my phone and just like laying out my phone in a way that is going to motivate me because it's like something that happens subconsciously it's not like i look at my phone for motivation but since i'm always on it it's like it's always there in my face so if i had like negative things written all over my home screen obviously that would subconsciously affect me so you want to be putting positive things and things that motivate you on your phone i'll insert some screenshots of what my phone looks like it's not really too fancy i just kind of have it set up in a way that's really simple i love putting like those little widget quotes just so i can read it if i swipe on them also affirmations would be good there too i'm gonna let you guys know some useful apps that i have one of them is this app called aura and i use this for my meditation and then another app is called flow this is to track my period another app that i have is this drink water app reminder i don't use this all the time but if i feel like i'm not drinking enough water i'll start using it again and if you guys want to set goals for drinking water definitely would recommend downloading something like that but yeah i don't really have um too many fancy apps definitely for this new year if you guys want like a big refresh definitely include your phone in that because it's something we use every day and it subconsciously does have a huge impact on us make sure you're filling um, your phone with your dream boards you can make your dream board like wallpaper version and you're filling it with like quotes or affirmations that inspire you So I have my iPad here and we are going to go through our goals that we wrote down last year and I'm just going to kind of sit and reflect on them and notice how much I've accomplished because I feel like a lot of the times we make all these goals and then when we actually achieve them it seems so familiar because we've been working on them so hard and then once you've actually achieved them you don't even give yourself credit and you don't even realize how far you've come and if you don't accomplish that goal it's still so important to sit down and realize how much you have accomplished and how far you've come and if you sit down and take the time to look back on it and like kind of reassess your year you'll probably realize how much you actually accomplished that you didn't even like notice, if that makes sense. Literally made a book for manifestations of 2022. I'm so nervous to look at this. I haven't looked at it in so long, but okay, here are my 2022 goals and manifestations that we're gonna look through together. So last year I made a YouTube category, financial category, lifestyle category, and spiritual category for YouTube to reach 100,000 subscribers which I reached, which is absolutely insane. To have a super engaged audience, 20,000 average video views, which I do get, and some videos even get a lot more than that, which is insane, because I'm pretty sure when I wrote this, my videos were only getting like a couple of thousand views. So one of my other goals was to get invited to an event, which I did. And then one of my other manifestations was to make a YouTube friend, and I made a YouTube friend. Are you kidding me? I made actually a couple, like that is crazy. And then I said, have someone recognize me and say hi in person, which, happened multiple times which is absolutely insane dream brands to work with hello fresh i worked with them case defy they actually sent me an email skillshare i worked with them gymshark not yet 
Set active, not yet. Garage, yes! Oh my god, this is crazy. Skims, no, but that is still on the list. And Hero Cosmetics, not yet. But that's crazy how I worked with half of these brands and like a year ago, that was like my dream. Anyways, financial goals, be completely dependent on YouTube, which I am. Be at the point where we have more than enough money to be on our own, which I am. Oh, this is so insane. Lifestyle, start every morning off with a stretch slash yoga routine which I do get more greens in. I actually have, I actually been drinking athletic greens. Um, read one book a month. I haven't been reading one book a month. That's something I forgot. Look for an apartment, two to three bedroom. That is insane because I just wrote look for an apartment and I didn't even write move into an apartment. I said look for an ap apartment. Crazy because I wrote this in January and me and Joel ended up moving out in March. That's how quickly things changed financially for us. And that's why you should never put a limit on when your goals can be achieved. Like always strive for the stars because you never know what can happen. Invest in only good quality clothing pieces, which I definitely have been doing because I used to order off of Sheen a lot. But this year I have really just put my money more towards like not statement pieces, like what are those called, like basics. Spiritual, make a point of meditating as often as possible. I have been meditating more this year, but I still want to make it like a daily thing for next year because I always forget about it or something, but I want to make sure that I'm doing that more next year. Less time on phone, more time in nature. I have been cutting back my phone this year. I haven't been going on my phone in the mornings and I only kind of pick, try to pick it up like after the end of the day. So I have been doing that. Yeah, this was my whole um, vision thing that I did for last year. It's just crazy. It's just insane to me because a year ago today when I was writing these goals, if I were to see myself now, I would freak out. I'd be like, oh my God, you have your own apartment. You're doing YouTube, but giving you enough money to sustain you full time. You have 100,000 subscribers. Like it's just so insane, you guys. The universe has limitless potential for you. So never put a limit on it. The only limit that really does exist is the limit within your mind. So whatever you think you can do, you can do. Looking back on the year, like I accomplished mostly all of those goals and even more. And it's just insane because unless you really sit back and reflect like that, you're not really gonna realize it. So I'm glad that I wrote that down at the beginning of the year because it's crazy to me how so much can change just within a year. So I'm really excited to sit down and write my goals for next year. I'm definitely gonna be aiming a little bit higher just because I know that I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I'm gonna be lighting an incense to kind of cleanse the space and then I'm going to be doing a meditation. Just so before I start making goals for this new year, I can kind of just like clean out my mind and start on a blank slate and also i'm gonna go into this meditation with the intention for it to give me some clarity on what this i want this next year to look like and just kind of sit with myself and really figure out and try to realize what i really want for the upcoming year because we're going to be doing our goals and stuff next so this is like i feel like a really important part to do before you sit down and make your goals and reflect is to just kind of sit down tune into the new year's energy and just feel what it's going to look like for you, imagine it, and then we're going to write it down on paper. So yeah, let's light some incense and do a meditation. I just got to the mall and I'm gonna go into this Japanese living store because they sell the cutest things and I want to go just get like a new notebook because since I since it's like a new year I want to write my goals in just like a brand new notebook instead of using like my old older ones I decided that I don't want to do it digitally again because last year I wrote my goals on my iPad digitally but I do prefer just like writing it on a piece of paper it just hits different that way so I'm gonna do it in that notebook so yeah let's go get one Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a haul. So I just ended up getting this plain um, brown notebook. I just like how it's blank and then it's coil in the middle so it like flips easily. So I just got that. And then I got the cutest freaking stickers. I got these cat ones and I got this. And then 
that how cute I'm, I'm just gonna use these to kind of make it like arts and craftsy just because they're so cute how can i not and then last thing i got is just this um marker thing but yeah that's the little haul let's go home okay so now it's officially time to write out our 2023 goals manifestations and all of that um in my meditation earlier i kind of got a clearer picture of what i want this year to look like and so i think i have an idea now of like what i want my goals to be and everything one tip that i have is instead of just building out goals it's really important to build out systems as well so for example if i want to reach 100,000 subscribers instead of just like having that goal writing out how exactly I'm gonna get there and then that's how you're gonna get results. So I'd encourage you guys to build out systems as well. That's what I'm gonna do this year instead of just like writing down the goals. So for example, if my goal last year was to get 100,000 subscribers, I should have written like posting two videos a week, just like building out a system on how I can actually get there and achieve it. I just feel like that's like a very proactive way of doing it because then it's not this daunting goal. It's like, okay, when you build out a system, you can just kind of follow those steps. So, let's start. I just worked long and hard on my goals and I wrote out a few pages in here. So what I decided I'm going to do with this book is the first few pages have all my goals written out and then I want to take the rest of this book and dedicate it to 2023. So anytime a big monumental moment happens, I want to like put a picture or something in here and write about it. Just like keep track of everything of my whole year in here. Not like journal every single day in here, but like more for like the big life altering moments you know what i mean so that i can kind of have a book to look back on each year and i kind of want to make this a tradition because i just thought of this i didn't really see this idea anywhere but i literally just thought about it so that would be really cute to look back on like in the future if i have like a little book like this for every single year of my life and yeah i just hope that i remember to stick to it though because i always say i'm going to do like these little cute things and i never remember so hold me to it please but anyways the stickers made it's so freaking cute but let me tell you guys some of my goals for this year so i've divided it into categories so for social media i did youtube instagram and tiktok for youtube i put reach 500k subscribers i know you guys may think i'm insane for saying that like reaching 500k in a year but trust me you can do anything you set your mind to and i'd rather aim higher than aim lower because anything is possible if you manifest it anything is possible and if you work for it you can accomplish anything so don't doubt me and then i just put get 100k average views on each video because obviously i want that good engagement i put get flown out for a brand trip get a long-term brand deal that truly lines with my channel make more youtube friends collab with a brand on a project photo shoot slash be a part of a campaign get on big companies pr lists and have an extremely engaged audience um instagram reach 100k followers this would be huge for me since i don't really have that many right now i just want to really post a lot of like reels and stuff and get my instagram popping because i've never really put any effort into it but i really want to try this year to kind of grow my short form content platforms just because i know it's good to expand so i want to definitely focus on that this year um it would be cool to do a paid collab on my instagram and then tiktok reach 100k followers have fun with it post whatever repurpose reels on here tiktok i don't really care as much about if i'm honest but since i could repurpose like all the reels i make for instagram um i'm hoping i'd grow on that too my lifestyle so day to day this is like my system how i'm gonna reach these goals stay focused stick to schedule content plan every month put lots of effort into content unique video ideas brainstorm sessions one to two youtube videos a week make thumbnails perfect stick to daily to do and don't procrastinate stick to a good morning routine that makes you feel good aesthetic editing plus always finding creative ways aesthetic filming angles plus good lighting keep home clean to keep motivated because honestly i find it so hard sometimes when i get packages and i'm getting dressed and like shits everywhere sometimes my clothes like in, my house never gets dirty like i'm good at cleaning it but sometimes i just like make it a mess with my clothes you know I only post videos that have a theme the reason why i'm aiming to do that is because those videos give me more growth um and be busy with something every day travel i want to go to coachella or oshie 
Diego 2023, brand trip somewhere, Hawaii, California, Disneyland, Boston, Montreal to see my family, health, movement five times a week, stay consistent in the gym, healthy breakfast, daily supplements, work on stretching slash flexibility, and I really just want to regulate my hormones because those have been going off the charts and then spiritual be consistent be in a constant state of manifestation reread asking it is given if you need motivation read a new spiritual book meditate more often connect more with your higher self connect more with nature relationships make more youtube friends cut out anyone toxic make more time for friends i'm gonna keep the financial private and also the random private because that is a little bit more personal but yeah so those are my goals for this year going into 2023 i hope this helps you as like a rubric on what to do for your own obviously you can do it however you want but i like to kind of subdivide mine in categories and stuff just so it's more organized i really did aim high with these goals because i saw how much i accomplished from my last year's goals and i'm like damn if i can do that plus a lot more then we're aiming like twice as big this year or three times as big okay so now's the time that we're gonna make our vision board i feel like that this is so important because it just kind of puts all of your goals on like picture form so you can kind of look at it every day and it's just a really good way to visualize everything if that makes sense i'm just gonna pull up my vision board from last year and then see kind of if my life looks like that now because that would be insane okay so here's my vision board from last year i put that youtube plaque on it got that i've been getting into more yoga definitely more financially abundant put that money in there oh my god look at the bottom that apartment that literally looks like my apartment that's insane are you kidding me the grocery shopping like the healthy foods i've been doing more healthy grocery shopping okay do you guys see those tulips in the bottom right corner i didn't even know this like this is crazy but the first set of flowers that i bought for this house were pink tulips and they looked exactly like that and i freaked out because when i had this as my background at the time i was just like on my computer and i realized and i'm like holy shit that is insane so be careful what you put on your vision board because it's going to subconsciously like manifest and it's just crazy how i bought those pink tulips without even like thinking about it or realizing anyways this literally describes my year i put like pictures of friend groups on there because i wanted to make more friends which i did so now we're going to make our 2023 vision board all that i do is go on pinterest and i search for images that i want to add and then i use picmonkey to make the collage but you can probably just use really anything like canva or whatever and then i just put them all together i love making vision boards it's just so nice and i honestly like doing it digitally better than on paper like in person just because then you can set it as your background on your laptop you can set it as your background on your phone um it's just like more ways of seeing it every day but yeah let's make a vision board for 2023 i'm so excited <laughs> Okay, so this is the final product of my vision board it just kind of like the vibe that i want to go for for the year and it does reflect all of my goals and just kind of what i visualize my year as but yeah it's so nice making them because it just sets the vibe for the year and most likely there are going to be photos in there that you put that are going to come to life which is insane and if you ever like feel lost throughout the year you can always refer back to your vision board but it's just important to put your vision board somewhere where you're going to be seeing it frequently just so it reminds you and keeps you motivated okay so another thing that i'm going to be doing is cleaning out my computer and organizing my notion if you guys do not have notion you actually need it notion is something that just completely transformed my productivity and my planning my content planning like everything it's the best platform and it's so multi-purpose you can use it as a planner you can use it as a notebook like it's so good it may take a while to use but you can go and search up some notion tutorials and they'll teach you how to set everything up but in my notion i have a whole calendar for my content planning sponsorships video ideas then i have brand slash pr lists then i have my social event calendar 
I have my daily agenda. I actually learned about Notion from YouTube. Um, a few YouTubers that I watched use it and they showed their Notion tours. So ever since then, I've been like really inspired to create my own. You can use templates, you can create your own. There's like a lot you can do with it. I actually have it downloaded as like an app on my Mac, which is so nice. But 10 out of 10, what suggest using Notion if you guys want to be more organized going into the new year and just kind of have more things in little folders. Like you can kind of make little online folders in within your notion and it just really keeps your life feeling organized I promise you and throughout the year I want to like create more pages for more th different things but yeah so right now I'm just gonna clean up my desktop and set my new wallpaper as my vision board for 2022 it's really good to clean up my desktop because you know sometimes your computer can kind of just get messy with a bunch of different files everywhere so i'm going to clean that up just so i can have like a clean blank slate for the year and then i'm also going to just like touch up my notion and make sure everything is planned out <laughs> So here is my final screensaver. I'm obsessed with the way my dream board turned out and how it looks on the computer. So now every time I open this, I can be reminded. I'm obsessed, it just looks so clean and minimal. And every time I open my laptop, which is every single day, this will inspire me. So definitely put your dream board in a place where you see it every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I wish you guys the best positive energies for 2023. And I can't wait for what this year has to bring for everybody. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Never going back, no you came